Defence Minister has met China's State Councillor, Minister of National Defence, ahead of the SCO Defence Minister's meeting in New Delhi. Uh, Vishnu, can you tell us what more details do we have about the SCO meeting? Oh, well, this is breaking news uh, which is coming in now. This is the first meeting of a Chinese Defence Minister with his Indian counterpart uh, in India since the Galwan episode. It's very, very important. Uh, he is over here, the Chinese Defence Minister, in General uh, Li Shangfu, in connection with the SCO Shanghai Cooperation Organisation meet. Very significantly, in a statement which has just been issued, uh, New Delhi has, uh, has outlined our position and it is a very strong statement. It says, the Raksha Mantri, in other words, Rajnath Singh, categorically conveyed the development of relations between India and China is premised on prevalence of peace and tranquility at the borders. He added that all issues at the LAC need to be resolved in accordance with existing bilateral agreements and commitments. He reiterated that violation of existing agreements has eroded the entire basis of the bilateral relationship and that disengagement at the border will logically be followed by de-escalation. So this is one of the strongest statements, Sanket, that we've seen from the Chinese. I'll re uh, reiterate that one sentence, which is the operative bit. Rajnath Singh reiterated that violation of existing agreements has eroded the entire basis of the bilateral relations and disengagement at the border will logically be followed uh, with de-escalation. So India absolutely clear. You de-escalate the situation um, uh, on the border, you disengage at the border, de-escalation will happen normally. Um, however, the entire relationship between India and China has suffered as a result of the situation along the line of control. Right? The entire basis of that relationship continues to be affected. Now, Vishnu, that uh, tough talk uh, has happened uh, from India and uh, you read out this very crucial uh, portion of the statement. But the point is, and I do remember many of your reports uh, that showed uh, huge Chinese development, uh, infrastructure projects, uh, you know, setting up villages along the border, which uh, you brought to us uh, with the help of satellite images. Now, that doesn't match with the, you know, what we are expecting of them. Well, I think uh, the, the fact of the matter is that China has built up massive infrastructure on their mm. side of the line of actual control, uh, perhaps on the line of control, perhaps in some areas where the line of control is disputed in our territory or what we consider our territory. But uh, That's in Arunachal Pradesh. But if you look at the overall stretch, uh, China has been salami slicing into uh, areas which we consider our own. There's a Chinese buildup which exists even now in Ladakh, in the Depsang area. Uh, it exists in the south of Ladakh in a place called Demchok. Uh, there are areas, for example, uh, near Longju in Arunachal Pradesh, which is a disputed area where they continue to exist in areas, in places. They have been salami slicing through territory which runs adjacent to Doklam uh, in Bhutan, where in 2017, Indian and Chinese soldiers had had a huge face-off They've been building up their infrastructure on their side massively in terms of air bases and they threaten that entire line of actual control between India and China. But I think, Sanket, what is significant is that there is a solid basis to the statement being made right now by the Defence Minister. And that basis is that India has built up our infrastructure in terms of roads specifically and has deployed upwards of 50,000 soldiers in Ladakh, that remains. And therefore, in terms of adopting a defensive posture, equipping our soldiers to stay in those areas throughout the year and matching the Chinese in terms of numbers, we are there. When the crisis in 2020 happened, in many of these areas, we didn't have roads. So we have been trying to match the Chinese uh, to the best of our ability with, with infrastructure. The point that's important is that geography doesn't favor us. Um, it certainly doesn't favor us in Ladakh. Therefore, road construction is far more difficult. Whereas with the Tibetan plateau, uh, adjacent to uh, some of the areas where the Chinese have come in, it is, uh, it is somewhat easier for them to bring in large number of soldiers and equipment, which they then forward deploy. Vishnu, how significant is this meeting in terms of, uh, you know, when it is being held, after how long has it been yeah. held? So uh, they met uh, Sanket in, uh, in Moscow. They met a couple of years back. 
uh, in Moscow. Nothing really came of that. However, it is the first visit of a Chinese defense minister to India since that Galwan crisis happened. Uh, General Li Shangfu, I can tell you, Sanket, interestingly, has been uh, somebody who's been um, sanctioned by the United States. Uh, but be that as it may, he's over here uh, at this stage. Uh, after 18 rounds of talks between India and China uh, on the military situation, military talks, you can see India's chief of defense staff um, uh, over there as well. We've had 18 rounds of talks. There has been disengagement and very positive disengagement in certain areas. For example, in, um, in the hot springs uh, area and areas near about, there's been a disengagement. There's been a disengagement earlier on in Galwan itself. There's been a disengagement on the north bank of the Pangong Lake. Um, but it's two areas, Demchok in South Ladakh and Depsang, which is strategically very important for India, where the Chinese occupy, it is believed, large swaths of Indian territory that we are clear, please go away. You, uh, di you disengage from there. That means that we de-escalate and that's the end of it. But if you don't do that, then once again, Rajnath Singh telling the Chinese, and I quote, he's reiterated that violation of existing agreements has eroded the entire basis of the bilateral relationship between India and China. All right. It's going to be very significant to see how this is followed up. Vishnu, are we aware? The Chinese statement, which is bound to happen. Yeah. And, uh, and, and usually, what does history tell us about uh, the statements by these two countries? The Chinese always uh, re reflect, uh, you know, I mean, respond to statements fairly harshly, particularly if these statements are direct, as, as is the case. But I think... Uh, it as is, very, is the case. It's very clear that yeah. this is a very, very direct statement made by, uh, by India. Absolutely. It certainly is, Sanket. And uh, I think it reflects a certain sense of confidence, which I was talking about. Our own infrastructure build up on our side, which wasn't there in 2020, is there now. Um, it does help to a certain extent without any doubt.